Hello again viewers and greetings fellow space travelers, this is Thorn of Night and welcome to episode 33 of my Terraria Let's Play series. Uh, and in today's episode I'm going to be deviating a little bit from the norm and what I mean by that is I actually have a plan. I am going to start working on the the banner wings of the museum but what I'm going to need before I can do that is to get a banner oops let go there we go uh i have learned that there are over a hundred banners to work with uh and the majority of them are uh just the, the monster spawn banners there are a few from the underworld a few from dungeons and uh some from the pyramids i think i have all the ones from the pyramids let me go check real quick See if I need to add that to my to-do list. Uh, Omega, Ankh, and Snake. I, I think that's all of them. Three. Yes. So I have all the ones from the pyramid. Uh, there are three from the floating islands that I need to make sure I have. Uh, but the majority of them are dropped by monsters. There are 46 from the normal mode monsters. And then... 41 from hard mode mo hard mode monsters and uh, what I'm going to do is incorporate them all into uh, these empty slots here to the left and right of the museum uh, now the way I'm going to do that is set up uh, some floors here uh, but I'm going to need to know exactly how far these things dangle so let's Pop a banner here. Actually, that's perfect. So it needs to be one, two, three, four, five high for each of them. All right. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is have uh, probably a sign. Well, first off, there's going to be a rope. Well, not there. There one out from the wall uh, along with a three wide gap so I can fall freely all the way back down to uh, the floor here and then starting here is that the right height? I think that is. Uh, it is going to be room for banners. Now I'm going to have them Spaced. Actually, why don't I go ahead and just grab a handful of banners? That would help. Uh, what do I have a bunch of? Uh, these and these. Uh, and all of my banners are are shuffled around randomly throughout the chests. I have no idea what's where. Uh, it's just a random hodgepodge of banners. Uh, so. Wait, are those the same? Those are the same. Okay. I'm going to need... Huh. That looks like a bit much. And especially if I'm going to be labeling them by signs. Let's see here. The sign will go here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, I can go... I guess four per floor would work. Uh, so basically I'm going to need, uh, I guess, 11 or 12 levels for the monsters on each side. And then uh, probably three more floors to uh, encompass the uh, underworld and dungeons and floating islands and pyramids. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is set up the height just to make sure that there's enough room here to do what I want to do which there should be I don't see why there wouldn't be but I'm going to go ahead and set that up and if there's any adjustments I need to make or or just when I'm done I will let you know so I'll be right back okay it looks like there's going to be plenty of room for this uh, I just have little dirt nubs sticking out here in the dirt column uh, so this isn't going to be the finished product for the building but uh, the 
12 levels come up to here where this gap is. And then I've got the three more floors uh, for the uh, six and three on one side and six and three on the other. So it's not even going to go uh, up to the level of the trophy room, it looks like. Uh, but if there are more banners in the future, I can always expand upward, I guess, a little bit. Uh, so there's plenty of breathing room there. Uh, and it looks like it won't even have to come up to the top of the apartment building here uh, so that's something but um, now what I want to do is figure out what I want to build the extensions out of I don't want it to be these stone bricks like I have here I want it to be something else and I kind of want it to stand out but I don't know what I want it to be uh, I was thinking of getting my idea from something over here I might go gold brick because that does pop a little bit. But the other thing I was thinking of we was eh come on let me in. The whoops, wrong button. Play so many different games, the activate button is different. Tungsten, that's what it is. I, I'm also thinking of going tungsten. Uh but I don't know if the tungsten would look right next to the gray. Actually, let's go find out. Where's some tungsten? Uh, there we go. Get some of that. And yes, it's harder to see because it's raining. I apologize, but I have no control over whether it rains. At least, I, as far as I'm aware. Uh, let's do this. And put a regular torch up there so I can get some more light. See the tungsten sort of offsets actually it does kind of complement the uh, mahogany there. I think I will. I think I'll go tungsten which means I'm going to need to uh, get myself a bunch more tungsten. Uh, so I'm going to work on that. But uh, first off, um, let's see here. I might have a bunch in here still. 48 bars. Okay, I've got more ore. Why do I have two different things of ore? There we go. I might be able to pull this off. Let's see here. Uh, those tungsten bricks. So each one of those takes... Oh no, that's the wall. Uh, how do I... Let's see here. I think I need gray bricks in order to make Tungsten bricks, maybe. No? Uh, what am I missing here? Maybe I need four? No, see, that's the brick wall. I don't want the brick wall. I want the brick. I've got... Maybe I need to have the actual ore. Aha! There we go. So it takes the stone blocks. Oh, so I don't even need the bricks. All right. It takes stone block, one stone block, and one tungsten ore. Ugh. Okay. Well, I guess that means that I am, in fact, going to have to go get myself some more tungsten. <sighs> so, I guess I'll be heading off on a little bit of a brief mining adventure. So I'll be right back, and hopefully I'll have enough tungsten to go around, and if not, then uh, I'll probably be hopping around from uh, one world to another or something. Uh, but I guess I'll, I'll go off, get some more tungsten, and then I'll be back to work on the actual structure of the banner wings of the museum. Talk to you in just a moment. Alright, so in my attempt to find some tungsten, uh, I have... Uh, stumbled across a tent. It won't let me right click on it or anything. 
So I'm going to attempt to harvest it. I don't know if I can or not. I just wanted to catch this on camera. So uh, if I do get a tent, you know where it came from. You're wishing me luck. Did I? No. Aww. I was really hoping. That would have been neat to have a tent. Oh, well. Sorry to get your hopes up. I, I got my hopes up, too. So don't feel as bad. But uh, this world, as it turns out, does not have... Uh, tungsten in it. It has silver. So I'm going to go try another world. I'll be back All right, I am back from my digging excursion and I have gotten a bunch of tungsten ore and a bunch of silt blocks uh, I Have no idea how long this would have taken if I was using one of the early game pickaxes This would have been quite the ordeal, but I, I spent, I don't know, about an hour or so digging, got a whole bunch of tungsten, among other things. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, convert the silt blocks into ores as well. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I discovered that now, holding the silt blocks over the, uh, uh, what's, extractinator, I think it's called? Well, let's, yeah, extractinator. Uh, Instead of using up two silt blocks, if you look carefully, it's only using one at a time. So uh, you double your output from the silt from before. But I'm going to go ahead and go through the silt, and uh, then I will hopefully have enough tungsten to finish off uh, all or at least most of the expansions to the museum, and I will be right back. All right. I... Uh, had plenty of tungsten to make the the different floors and the wall and all that and the, the, and the roof but uh, I I would be a fool to think that I would have enough tungsten to make the back wall uh, for this structure so I'm just going to use the gray stone bricks that I uh, have readily available so I don't have to dip into uh, going on another resource hunt in order to just make some back walls. So I'm going to go ahead and fill all this in. And then it's time to start laying out where all of the banners are supposed to go. Uh, so I will go ahead and do this and then I will be right back. Alright, I am chilling out in the bone showcase room for two reasons. One because I decided that I wanted to have these bone lamps as the lighting for the banner parts of the museum because, well, I have a lot of bones and I also like the way they look. Uh, but also because one of you guys pointed out that uh, the crafting, uh, the bone crafting table, whatever it's called, uh, is likely to, or was likely to be how to make the bone wall and as it turns out if I come over here there's bone wall so I can go ahead and finish putting the wall behind this area here and thank you to whoever it was that mentioned this I do not remember the screen name you used. I apologize. I should start writing things like this down, but uh, that is it. That does it for the the wall. I don't need to worry about that anymore. Uh, and there we go. Put these in here. All right. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, like I said, is make the lamps out of the bone. And the way I'm going to have it set up is I come over here. Uh, it will be something like a banner, lamp, banner, lamp, ban oops, banner, lamp, banner, and then a lamp there. So let's see here. I'll need... Well, 15 times 4 is 60, so I'll need 120 of these lamps. Ay, ay, ay. 
uh, but it'll be worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and craft those and get them in place. And then it's time to start laying out what banners go in what locations. So I'll be back in just a moment. All right, that part is done. The lamps are all in place. Uh, and, and basically the way I've got this set up, uh, I'm going to have some platforms uh, on each landing like that uh, so that I have enough room to uh, climb up the ladder like this, or not the ladder, but the rope, and then just fall down without bumping into the platforms. I might make it too wide so I can uh, drop down more easily between them if I miss my my landing. But basically that's what I'm going to be doing. Ooh! Ooh! The merchant's here! What's he got? Where is he? Hello? What do you have? A fez? I have some ultra bright torches and stuff that you seem to have often enough. Oh, well. Uh, but anyway, uh, I, I was able to fill this all in with the lamps without a single one to spare. Exactly 120, so my math was right, uh, which makes me feel good. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the platforms in place. And uh, I... Let's see here. I'll need 30 signs. How many do I have? Uh, where are my signs? 37. There we go. Ah, all right. I'm going to go ahead and take care of this, and then I'll be right back. All right, the signs are all in place to uh, mark which uh, which banners go on which level, and I haven't done anything really terribly special with the division of them. They're basically all the pre-hard mode ones on the left side in alphabetical order, uh, except for the top three lev levels, and same on the right, only it's the post-hard mode uh, monsters over here. So, now for the fun part, which is to figure out where I've put all the different kinds of banners, which I've got some in here, and I think, yep, there's some in there, and in here, and there, and this one, and probably some of these have banners. I, I just have banners all over the place. I probably even have some banners. No, there's there shouldn't be banners in there. Um, over here, maybe? Yep, there's some banners. And there should be banners in here. Yep, there's those three. So basically, I'm going to go through and scoop up all the banners and start placing them where they belong and then I'll have a little bit of an idea of which ones that I'm missing uh, that way I can know which uh, monsters and worlds I need to go to uh, to get some more of the banners uh, because there are somewhere some uh, banners that are for the uh, corruption, so I'm going to have to go to a corruption world in order to get those. Uh, and there are some of the pre-hard mode bad guys that I don't really have easy access to or any access at all uh, in this post-hard mode uh, world. So basically I'm going to have to figure out what I'm missing. But before I can do any of that, I had to start placing the banners. So, uh, I'm going to get to work on that. What I'll probably do is get the top three levels done for both the left and right, and then I'll see where I am from there, probably do a little uh, bit of recording to just show you how it looks, and then I'll get to all of the other stuff. So, I will be right back. 
So here I am standing in the banner area of my museum and a wild solar eclipse appears. So I'm having to deal with this. But the good news is, uh, well, I guess two pieces of good news. Uh, I am, let's see here, more than halfway to a platinum. Uh, I came down here with no, no money at all on me. So, uh, the income from the solar eclipse is going to be nice, but, uh, also, the banners that I have on me presently are the only remaining banners that I have to put up in the museum, so that's, that's something good. Uh, but I'm gonna finish up the solar eclipse, and hopefully there won't be any other surprises between now and the... Uh, time I'm done putting up the uh, the banners uh, and then we will see what all I have left to get banners wise and where I need to go to get more banners but I'm gonna finish this off and I'll be back all right so I have put all the banners in place at least all the banners that I have found in my collection there may be a few stragglers laying around that I haven't caught yet, but, uh, well, actually, I think if I do have any other banners, they might be here. Don't see any there. Or maybe in wrong one. One of these two. Nope, just outfits. And outfits. Alright. So I'm fairly confident that I have placed all of the banners that I have in my collection thus far. Uh, now, apparently there are 105 different types of banners. Uh, and I have gotten, I think, more than 50 of the uh, mob ones, uh, not counting the ones that are from the dungeons and whatnot. Uh, there's still a few more of those that I have to get, but as you can see on the left side here, I have the vast majority of the pre-hard mode banners, which is awesome because that means I don't have to uh, spend as much time in another world just grinding mobs trying to get the banners. Uh, however, the... Uh, post hard mode ones you can see there are lots of gaps in here and that's because I am probably not even remotely close to being able to have killed all of the bad guys uh, sufficiently in quantity to get the banners that I need uh, there I think the bottom row doesn't have any on this side and this one only has one but all the rest I'm just going to have to hunt around and kill them as, as best I can. Uh, which means that I'm going to have to make a list of uh, what areas I'm going to need to go. Some of them I know for sure are going to have to be gotten in a uh, uh, hard mode uh, corruption. So I'm going to have to definitely make uh, another world and put it up into hard mode uh, and, and that's fine I, I was sort of planning on doing something like that anyway but uh, for the most part the general gist of the banner wings is complete and done and it is a much fuller looking museum now uh, so I finally have that taken care of and you can get a, a better glimpse if I can get this all on the screen yep that's the top um, left side the uh, pre hard mode the right side is the post hard mode also I am clearly going to have to finish getting the paintings because there are plenty of holes in here but uh, that will more than likely be over the next couple episodes because I do want to try to get that done uh, or at least as done as I can uh, but 
I'm I'm happy with the way the banners turned out, and there there are a lot of neat looking banners in this collection. Uh, I I like a lot of them. Some of them are just kind of plain, like uh, this one here's the goldfish, the one that I'm at now, and it's just kind of there. I I don't really know what else to say about it. It looks like someone took a goldfish and grabbed its face and stretched it out that that's really all i can figure is going on there but uh th there are a lot of neat looking banners and i'm i'm satisfied so uh i guess the next plan is for me to do a little bit more work on the showcase rooms there are a couple of items that i set aside here? Yes. Uh, the Living Loom, the Honey Dispenser, and the Lizard Furnace, which are similar to the, uh, the Bone Crafting Table? What's the thing called? Do I have spares? Uh, bone Welder, that's what it is. Uh, they are basically... Uh, made so you can uh, craft a, a few more things that you uh, were not able to craft craft before. There are a few more things related to the uh, honey house that I'm going to have to, I guess, expand this out a little bit more to accommodate the new parts. But that's fine. So uh, I'm going to probably just worry about that during the next episode because this one's getting pretty close to done and I don't want to start a new project uh, at the end of the episode and just leave it hanging because I might forget about where I left off uh, when I start the next one. Oh, thank God it stopped raining. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. I, I did complete, as far as I can tell, the banner parts of the museum so that's that's done obviously i still have to get the missing banners but the actual construction of the thing is complete and i i'm calling that a win uh but uh, yeah i'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here so thank you very much for watching if you have any questions comments or suggestions please feel free to leave them in the comment section uh, and I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. Uh, if you like this video and you like what I'm doing here, please feel free to give a like. I do appreciate that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when my future stuff comes out. Did I just make a door disappear? I thought I had a door here. I guess not. Oh, well. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up before I, I lose track of what I'm doing. And... Uh, uh, I will get to work on some more showcases in the next episode, hopefully. But in the meantime, thank you once again for watching. This is Thorn of Night, and I will talk to you later.